Welcome back to Two Minutes of Power. Today's message is about Deuteronomy 28 and 10. Let's take a look at this verse. And it says, Then all the peoples on earth will see that you are called by the name of the Lord, and they will fear you. Now this verse is Moses talking to the people of Israel, talking about the blessings that are upon their lives. And so today we wanna to take some time to bless Israel because God blesses those who bless Israel. And we wanna stand with them in faith, believe God to move in that nation of chosen people. Our savior Jesus Christ came from the Jewish heritage and we just wanna cover them on today. So dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for the Jewish people, that the gospel was brought forth, that they are the natural branch. And because of them, as Gentiles, other believers, we can come forth and receive the gospel. We thank you also, Father God, that in the body of Christ, because Jesus Christ died and reconciled us to himself, that we are no longer Jew or Gentile, Greek or other, slave or free in the body of Christ, but we are all covenant believers. We thank you, Lord, for your son that died on the cross and came back, was resurrected to die for our sins because of him that we can fellowship in unity with those of Israel. We pray right now, Father God, for blessings to be manifested, blessings to go forth for the people of Israel, for salvations to come forth on the land, and that there'll be manifested blessings, abundant harvest in that place. We pray, Father God, for your anointing fire to fall upon the people of Israel, and that they would rise up in this hour like never before. We pray for evangelists to go down in the land and speak the truth of the gospel, to raise up souls, to raise the dead, to heal the sick, to cast out demons. Freely they have received, freely they will give. We thank you, Father God, that they will tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means harm them. We pray for revival in the land of Israel. Revival that they will know that the one and true living God is in the heavens and everywhere he's omnipresent and that Jesus Christ died for their sins. We pray for a mass revelation of your power in the earth through your sons and daughters in Israel, Father God, that the revival sweeps through the land and that starts in Israel, Father God. That will be an overflowing anointing that comes forth from the people that are there and spills out to the nations, Lord. That there be a great, uh, uh, just a time of fellowship, prosperity, and thanksgiving that goes forth for those that are saved in this hour, Father God. We know the time is at hand. You're coming back with a vengeance, Father God, through your son, Jesus Christ, and you're catching us up. But we believe right now there's a mighty work to be done in Israel. We pray for those of Israeli heritage, those that are there, that the fire of God comes upon them. In Jesus' name, we bless you all. Continue to pray and bless the people of Israel. 